Hi, I'm Gavin Wielden, the Managing Director of Applied Language Solutions, and I'm here today to ask for £250,000 for a 4% equity. Applied Language Solutions are a translation company. That's all done by professional human translators. Um, at the very top end, we do entire websites for the likes of Nike, Robbie Williams and many, many others. Right the way through to, if you wanted to get I Love My Mum tattooed across your back in Hebrew, appliedlanguage.com, you can get that done. We've been going three years now, from back bedroom, one person, through to 60 people in six countries. We are set to do 3.2 million turnover this year. This year we've also won the HSBC Startup Stars Award. I won the uh, North East Entrepreneur of the Year in the National Business Awards. We've achieved a lot. We've had a really aggressive growth in three years. I know we can do a huge amount more. We want to get to flotation within five years' time. Obviously, we need some help to do that and a bit of money as well. Um, so, obviously, I'm here today to ask for the money and the help. £250,000. Any questions? With a turnover of over £3 million, Gavin Wielden may be confident his web-based translation business will deliver on a quarter million pound investment. But the Dragons are much more curious about the other figure Gavin is quoting. Uh, did you say £250,000 for 4%? I did, that's correct. I think that's the lowest percentage offering I've seen on the Dragons, Dan. Probably. <laughs> so, now, you do two things, an on, a, 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 one on the web yeah. and one is actually live translation? It's, it's human. I mean, the one on the web, it's machine translation. So, you know, it does it instantly. On okay. the fly, it's about 70% accurate. And it's, it's a gimmick, it's a good tool. People use it, it attracts visitors. But obviously, that's just a driver. Oh, OK. Now, how is, is your revenue split between those two activities? There's no revenue from the free translation. It's all professional translation. So all your 3.2... Is completely is human translation, professional translation. What's your profit on your 3.2 million revenue? If we continue on track for what we're doing at the moment, we will hit about just over 400 grand in net profit for the year. Good. There's no doubt Gavin's made impressive progress so far, but the deal he's offering the Dragons values his business at £6 million. Theo Pafitis wants to find out why. We're all impressed by the turnover you've created. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite as impressed. Yeah. With the valuation you I put in. I didn't think business. you would be. You're an intelligent guy. Yes, wow. Well, that's so, that helps. Oh, yeah. Well, you're obviously intelligent and you're obviously very capable. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you the opportunity yeah. to explain to me okay. how you arrived at your valuation. Too simple. Um, I've, I've worked on, and you may bulk up this or disagree, a P to E ratio of 15. And I've done that within the industry. Sorry, you've worked on a? A profit to earning ratio of 15. Of 15. 15. Oh, sorry, can I finish? Of what? Of the net profit. Of what net profit? Uh, well, the projected net profit for this year of 400,000. Absolutely. The word you're looking for. So it's 15 times of a figure that you might achieve, which is about 300,000 pounds? About 400,000. No. Are you talking post-tax? PEs are calculated after the deduction of tax. OK, well, so, I'll learn something So there. let me just help you along what your valuation looks like from where I'm sitting. OK. Your valuation from where I'm sitting looks like this. It looks something like 21 to 22 times prospective earnings. Mm -hmm. OK. Do you expect me to feel a little bit uncomfortable? OK. I mean, and again, I'm learning here, Theo, you know, in terms of a... a uh, this is not for learning. This is no, not okay, a I'm, lesson. I must, well, it, it certainly seems that way. <laughs> um, You've come and asked me to invest £250,000 yeah, and so. you want me to teach you at the same time. Theo Pafitis has uncovered a flaw in the way Gavin has valued his company. Not only has he used predicted rather than actual profits, but Gavin has also overestimated those profits by failing to make any deductions for tax. Duncan Bannatyne is quick to try and seize the advantage. Gavin, you've just learned the valuation isn't as you thought. No. So well, with, that, with, that, with that thought, yeah. are you going to change the amount of equity you're offering? OK, well, can you tell me, Duncan, are you interested in investing? I could be. Yeah, OK. The, the valuation I've done is obviously on projected earnings. Yep. Now, I'm very keen to keep the percentage as low as humanly possible, as I'm sure you can imagine. Gavin, the valuation you made was on projected earnings, that's yes, incorrect. Okay. So if, would we be able to do any kind of deal that if you hit budget on these 
earnings, then a deal will be in place. You're pretty clever, aren't you? <laughs> You're pretty clever, Gavin. Gavin's adopting a high-risk strategy. Rather than increase the equity on offer, he's now predicting inflated future earnings to try and convince the Dragons that his original calculations can still hold true. Peter Jones has heard enough. Gavin, can I tell you where I am? I don't see how a quarter million pounds at anything like the sort of percentage rates that you're offering is going to give a return. OK. Well, in terms of the return, and this is, again, maybe you're going to all dive on and rip me apart, but my intention is within five years to float for... 60 million, so the 4% will give a 2.4 million return. Flotation for, for me is not the route. Okay. Your route is, is clearly a merger or a private sale down the line. But when you've got a balance sheet the way you are at the moment and your projected earnings of, of two to 300K, your business isn't worth five or six million pounds. The bottom line is what you're asking for, the risk is far too high for an investor. Okay. Um, so I'm only out on that basis. For me, I, I actually do believe you've got a good business. But everything that shines is not always gold. As a risk-reward ratio for me, it doesn't stack up. OK. You haven't excited me, and those are the reasons why I won't be investing. So okay. I, too, am out. OK. Thank you. Gavin's in trouble. He's lost two dragons in quick succession. Duncan Bannatyne decides it's time to show his hand. So I've come to evaluation okay. that I would be interested in investing in your company in. Okay. It's very risky, so I wouldn't invest all the money. Okay. But I'd invest £125,000 of my hard-earned money. Yeah. But for that £125,000, I'd want 9% of your company. Duncan Bannatyne has offered Gavin half the money. But under the rules of the den, Gavin now needs Deborah Meaden or Richard Farley to agree to invest the other half, or he leaves with nothing. I think your valuation, you know, you really do whatever happens with Duncan now, you need to accept the fact you got your valuation very wrong. But I think that at the equity level, uh, it's just not going to excite me. I, you know, I like being able to have a decent-sized stakeholding in a business that I really think I'm going to get my teeth into yeah. and be able to do something with. So, uh, for those reasons, I think I might as well state now. I'm okay. out. Gavin's rapidly running out of options. Richard Farley is now the only other dragon who could partner Duncan Bannatyne for the full investment. What's your reaction to Duncan's offer? Um, no reaction yet. Cards to the chest, if you don't mind, Richard. Um, I'll tell you where I'm at. Um, this business is a copycat business. It's an extremely competitive area, which yes, is only going to get more competitive. Yeah. The reason it's done well is that you are so good. It's you that's made this business. It's not the sector you're in. It's not, it may not even be the product. It's the way you've run it, and you're, you're fantastic at that. If you're in a different sector, we're a new emerging market, I would back you. But in this sector, super competitive sector, yeah. I don't want to do it. And okay. you know, your valuation I can't even talk about because okay. it's, it's completely flawed. I'm going to step out. Thanks very okay. much. Gavin could be moments away from failure in the den. His last hope is that Duncan Bannatyne revises his offer up to the full quarter of a million pounds. I'm very disappointed that we should pull that, Gavin. Yeah. I think uh, you'll probably prove all the dragons wrong, even me. You'll probably prove my evaluation too low and them all wrong. And I think you do it tremendously well. But I'm sorry because I can't get somebody else to come in with me. No, that's fair enough. I have to also stand up. Yeah, but I appreciate best it. Best of luck. Yeah, thank you very much. Gavin's fallen at the final hurdle. In the end, his high-risk strategy of offering such a small stake in his business drove too many of the dragons away from a deal. He's going to make a lot of money and prove you're wrong. I'm sure he'll make money. He won't prove any of us wrong. Well, we all said he'll make money. None of us good. said it wasn't a, a good business. You haven't listened to a word any of us have said. You've been too engrossed in your own little world. I never do listen to what any of you said. I know. So maybe if you tried, you'd hear we all said he'll make money. No. We, just, we had our own I'm reasons not. for I'm not investing not. in him. I'm not Why even going to invest think about listening to you.
Gavin, now Duncan's offer. Yeah. Did you think that might lead to something that would actually comprise an investment? Well, I did. I, I mean, I was quite hopeful. I think he's got a lot of skills that would have been useful. Um, it's a shame he didn't. But for that £125,000, I'd want 9% of your company. I mean, I wouldn't have agreed at them percentages. You, know, but no, we'd have you might have done them, mightn't you? And not at them percentages, but we'd have, you know, we'd have come to a deal, maybe. Very good luck. OK, thank you.